What's going on everybody, this is Brian from SneakerFiles.com, recapping the news from yesterday. Like always, we post on SneakerFiles.com first, and then we take it to YouTube. Again, I do apologize, I'm still under the weather, you could probably hear it in my voice, but I'm well enough to do these videos still, so that's gonna continue. Um, it just alters my voice and it's really annoying, especially in editing, and I'm sure you guys probably annoyed too, but I'm sorry about that. Either way, uh, I do appreciate the likes on the last video. Um, got a lot in a short amount of time, so thank you all for hitting the like button. Shows me that you guys like these new segment videos, so I'm going to continue to do them. There wasn't even in jeopardy of not doing them. It's just, um, it's a nice, it's nice to see everybody appreciate them. But for news today, we have um, a couple detailed looks, a couple first looks, um, a non feet look, and uh, from brands like Adidas, um, Jordan Brand, Nike. Uh, Puma, Hewing, Athletics, and that's about it. Um, but more in specific, the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Dark Green, um, the Air Jordan 4 Linen, uh, first look at the Air Jordan 8 Cool Gray, and some more stuff. But let's jump into the news. Rihanna and Puma are extending upon their collection, this time offering two pairs of the Puma Fenty Bow Trinomic. One of the pairs is highlighted in sweet lavender while the second is done in pink tint. It appears that each features satin across the uppers and completing the look is a bow across the midfoot. For those interested in picking them up, they're dropping April 13th. Retail will be $160. Hewing Athletics just shared their April 2017 retro collection, which features two pairs of the Hewing 33 High and one pair of the Hewing Rogue. So the first pair of the Hewing 33 High is known as multicolor, and as you can see, it has somewhat of a what the theme. Constructed with new buck across the upper, we see shades of yellow, orange, and blue, and a bunch of other shit. And completing the look is a translucent midsole and outsole. The second pair is the 33 High Woven. As you can see, they feature a black and white textile woven upper along with gum on the outsole. The last pair, the Rogue, is inspired by Patrick Hewing's Jamaican roots, and the overall look resembles that of the Jamaican flag. In addition, we have patent leather around the ankle and heel. All three pairs are set to drop on April 18, 2017. You can cop them at HewingAthletics.com and other select retailers. Another Adidas Ultra Boost Uncaged has landed, known as Khaki, and the Uppers, which features Khaki, also mixes in shades of brown across the prime knit and then brown used again on the heel counter. And then completing the look, we got a white Boost midsole and black on the outsole. So these dropped yesterday and pretty much instantly sold out on Keth and retail was 180 however I expect additional shops to have them soon. Wings and Horns is collaborating with Adidas Originals once again this time to bring us two pairs of the Adidas NMD R2 and one pair of the Adidas Campus 80s. The first pair of the NMD R2 is highlighted with prime knit across the uppers which also uses a unique design and it looks like they feature a light gray or even a white it could be the lighting I'm not sure. Now the second features dark gray and it comes with a one piece leather construction. Both pairs will feature a white boost missile while branding on the tongue is debossed. For the Campus 80s, once again, they feature a one piece leather upper and the three stripes branding which you see on the side is very, very unique, something we haven't seen done before and the whole shoe is highlighted in navy. For those interested in picking up any of the models mentioned, they're set to drop on April 27, 2017 at select retailers. I will have more information on the way, so stay tuned. Rumors started to circulate a few months back that an Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 would debut in dark green. Now we had sample images which lacked the hill tab and the overall look of the 350 V2. However, that has changed today. We have a closer look and they're scheduled to drop during June 2017. Retail will be 220. Now there isn't a set date as of yet, but once that's available, definitely will provide you with the updates. But so far these aren't looking so bad. Personally, I'm just not a fan of uh, the V2 um, that much. I mean, it depends on the colorway. I'll be honest. The Beluga I like, and the Zebra I like, and the Bread as well. But that's pretty much it. So in a nutshell, I will be passing on these. Unless I decide I want to use them for trade bait. Just a heads up for those interested in picking up the Nike Free Run Motion Flyknit 2. The first colorway is set to drop on April 13th, which kind of has an Oreo theme, as you can see. White and black mixed across the uppers, and then we got black on the midfoot strap. Following will be two additional colorways, one for men, one for women, that will drop on May 4th, and retail price will be 150 Nike is borrowing the classic Safari print and slapping it on the Nike Lunar Charge. As you can see, we got black mesh across the uppers. Cell is then used across the midsole, outsole, and hits it on the eye stays. And then following, we have orange, which lands on the Nike swoosh, 
and around the collar and heel, completing the look as safari print which overlays across the panels and runs towards the heel. No set release date, but they're expected to drop sometime soon, at least during spring 2017, retail price will be 120 The Nike Air Force One Low Jewel is returning, as you guys already know, for 2017. So the first pair with a set release date is known as Silt Red, and it almost has like a light pink hue to it, and that hits the leather upper which looks extremely soft like premium and they should be because the retail price is 220 i'm not even sure if that's correct no it is correct but i'm kind of at a loss for words but anyways they also feature the light pink shade on the jeweled swoosh and then we have cell which covers the midsole and outsole so for those interested in picking them up they drop on april 13th like i said retail price is 220 and one of the shops you can grab them at is oneness this video will go live today, April 12th, which means tomorrow, the whole Nike Air Max Silver Bullet collection will release, which will include the Nike Air Max Jewel Silver Bullet. Now, I just wanted to share these on-feet images before they dropped. They are dropping April 13th. Retail price will be 100 I believe these will sit, um, but I don't believe the Air Max 97 will. Uh, I think those are going to go pretty fast. And even the Air Max 95, those are dope, as well as the Air Max Zero. We got a few things to talk about when it comes to 420, that special day which is just around the corner. But first up is the Nike SB Dunk Low being labeled 420. Information already broke about these, but we do have a detailed look. And just to recap, we have a galaxy-like print across the uppers, which I'm sure intertwines into weed some way, shape, or form. I don't know yet, but Nike will probably announce something very soon. And then on the panels, we have black mesh as well as the tongue, and even the laces look to be hemp, but I'm not positive on that. Completing the look is a white midsole and a translucent outsole. For those interested in picking them up, they're dropping April 20th, retail will be 100 Another Nike Air More up tempo is dropping this week, they're known as either Triple Black or Black Reflective, and the highlight is they feature 3M across the laces, tongue and heel pole tabs, and outlining the large air. Other than that, they're completed in all black and it appears to be new buck. Dropping April 14th, retail will be 160 I'm not sure if I'm going to have a review of these yet, I'm actually going to give uh, the shop a call tomorrow so I'll let you guys know in the video probably on Thursday or they'll just go live on Thursday alright so for those that celebrate 420 our friends over at sold X Graham have released the Air Jordan 3 herbal grinders now I call it herbal because we do kind of keep it somewhat PG-13. I personally don't partake in grinding herbals in any such way shape or form but if you do, this might be something you're interested in. So they created, or I should say recreated, the True Blue, Fire Red, Black Cement, and White Cement. So this was a friend of mine's idea, and it's a long time in the making, and they're finally available. Each unit, or I should say colorway, is limited to 420. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a link in the description below if you guys want to check it out or you pick one up. Russell Westbrook has had one fucking great season, and I'm not even an OKC fan. I definitely can appreciate his talents on the court. And to celebrate this season, Jordan Brand is releasing the Air Jordan 31 Why Not PE. Now we've already featured the shoes so I won't go over that but uh, they already had planned on releasing them before he broke the record or at least they probably felt that he was going to. A lot of people probably did but now we have a detailed look and uh, the shoes are looking great like they're ugly but they are so damn ugly that they're nice to me at least. Um, retail will be 200 dropping on April 29th. I'm going to assume this will be a limited drop and hard to obtain but we should have more information on the way. We also have new images of the Air Jordan 4 linen, which is a GS exclusive, but looking closer, the leather used across the upper actually looks pretty solid. Um, slightly tumbled in areas, and that's done in white. And then we have light sand, which hits part of the midsole, along with the wings and liner, and a few other locations. And completing the look is border blue, which lands on the Jumpman on the heel, as well as the outsole. Still, we don't have a release date. Expected to drop either late summer to early fall 2017. Retail will be 140 we have our first look at the Air Jordan 8 Cool Gray, which is dropping in June. I'll give you more information about that later in this segment. But as you can see, Cool Gray along with Wolf Gray is highlighted across the uppers. And then we have accents of white, which hits the tongue as well as 
the unique graffiti print above the midsole. Now looking closer, it looks like either suede or nubuck hits most of the uppers, but leather is used around the hill. In addition, we have 1993 on the back heel tab. So they're dropping June 20th, 2017. For now, retail price will be 190. To be honest, I kind of like the look. I think it's very clean, simple, but that's it. That's what does it for me, it's clean and simple. And other than that, I'm happy that we don't have those miniature indents throughout or perforations, whatever you want to call them. I'm glad that's gone. And that recaps the news. Like always, we post it first on sneakerfiles.com and then we take it to YouTube. So from the video, what I'm feeling, I mean, there's not a lot. Um, the Air Jordan 31, why not PE? I've already said that I do want them. I don't think I'm going to get them just because I believe it's going to be limited. So as for new stuff, I mean, the Air Jordan 8 Cool Gray. Those are dope, uh, very simple, very clean. I have a feeling those are going to do pretty well once they hit retailers. Um, other than that, the Nike SB Dunk Low 420. Now, I don't partake in the 420 festivities, but uh, the shoe actually looks kind of dope. I like them, but uh, I'll have to see in person. Definitely will be one of those. And the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Dark Green. Um, again, that will be something if I pick up, it would strictly be for trade bait because uh, I just, man, I just traded my Belugas in some cash for something incredible i'll just say that and i'm going to do an unboxing on the channel live with you guys to show you what i obtained and let you guys kind of weigh in to see if um i got a good deal or if the other guy got a good deal so we'll probably have that either later this week or early next week but other than that it's a wrap i mean the ultra boost on cage the the brown pair and khaki that's okay but honestly i'm not a fan of um uncaged ultra boost anymore i did like them but I don't like them anymore. They just, they irritate me around the collar. It just, it bugs the shit out of me. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you liked from this video, what you disliked. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfalls.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.